This is Justin Miller with Train by Tex. Thanks for watching my videos. Okay guys, Justin JM Diagnostic again. We're still working on this Ford truck. What we're doing now is we're capturing cam and crank sensors. Um, you want to get these for known goods. And what I've done here, I've done my research, I've got my wiring diagram here, and I've come up with a plan. This is the first step for doing this. You draw out where your sensors are. So right here we have our cam sensors here, 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 and here, and a crank sensor here. And then they move on to the next diagram here into the computer, and I've marked them. Now this is the way I do it. It's not the way everybody does it, but what I do is I come down, and I'll mark. Here's my crank sensor, and I mark it over here, crank, and then I mark it blue because that's the the back pin I'm going to use for that one. So when I get over there, I back pin them and then I know what color goes to what. So we have bank two sensor one, bank one sensor one. We have a cylinder sink right there and I didn't label that one because that's going to be used different ways. Usually I don't back pin that at the computer. I do that right at the coil. And so then we come over to the car and I'll show you what we've done here. So here's our scope setup, and I've got all of my grounds back, back pin or uh, piggybacked here. My cylinder sink is right there on the cylinder one coil, and then I've taken the little plastic cover off there to access the pins, and I've back pinned. You can see where I have the red one there, and on the back side there, there's a blue one and a red one. I have another red one over here. That's how we get our connections for the crank and cam sensors. It's much easier for this particular vehicle to capture them at the PCM connector because our cam sensors are back here in the back of the motor. And getting to them sometimes can be a challenge. The crank sensors down the bottom, I could go down there and try to access it, but it's definitely much easier just to grab it right there. So now what we do, Start the car. Now what I like to do always is restart the scope. So what you're capturing is that. Sometimes you can do it with it if you want to capture the cranking moment of it. You can see right here I've got two of my cams. There are four cam sensors on this vehicle, so I have to make multiple captures with this scope. Really wish Pico would come out with an eight channel for automotive because it's definitely due and needed. The crank sensor's on the top, We've got two cam sensors in the middle, and then on the bottom we have our ignition sink. Now if you notice, that is a double strike. It's not always a double strike for some reason on this vehicle. Or when I was first testing it, I had a single strike and both times it was at idle. Can't tell you what the strategy is there, but it is there. So, once you get done capturing that, the very first thing you need to do after a capture is to save. So, one of the things you need to make sure you have all your details filled in. This is what I like to do, I like to get my VIN in there, the make, the model, the year, the engine, the engine size. And then I like to come down here and tell you exactly what I'm connected to. So you can see I'm on pin 11, yellow with violet on my crank sensor. So if anybody ever, to ever look at this, you, me later, I share it with someone else, they know exactly where that signal came from. It came from pin 11. And it's a yellow with violet wire. If yours doesn't have that, you're probably not matching this vehicle. Pin 26, green with violet. That's my bank two sensor one cam sensor. Make sense? That's uh, how we do this. The next thing we do is we save it. And I've gone over the saving stuff, but when you make a capture like this, you want to save it right away. Because what happens is if you shut the vehicle off and you're gonna come back and do it later, you start analyzing your capture. And you've stopped it like it is here. And then all of a sudden you bump the space bar again. 
everything's gone. You have nothing anymore. So what you need to do is save first, analyze second. All right, thanks for watching, guys.